Hi, hello everyone. Good afternoon. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another session of Let's Talk Study in Australia Part 3. Hi, Yay. hello LA. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, so we're back again. My name again is Monette. Joining me today to discuss our Part 3 episode is LA, our Education Counselor at Career Consultants Network. So, Start na tayo, LA. Balikan natin yung next question natin. Um, so last time we discussed about the study option online without a visa. So today, please let us know naman more information about dun sa with the visa option. Sure, Mo. So this option, um, if you can remember last last episode that na pag-usapan natin that that study option is fully online and it doesn't require any visa for you to start the course. Okay, so kahit walang passport, you just enroll, but whatever you study will be credited towards um, uh, another qualification kung sakaling gusto mo siyang i-pursue, say for a higher, higher education uh, or further education later on dito sa Australia. Now, this second option is actually... Um, a course requiring a student visa, eh, but dahil nga sa border closure, you can actually start studying online then. And whatever you study online will be parang credited or um, kung halimbawa your course is for a year or for two years, depende, whatever you have studied online, if you already have a visa, um, it will be um, counted towards that. So, credited siya all in all. Parang ganyan. Kasi alam mo mo, um, this is critical to those na mga higher education degrees like bachelor, master's, postgrad, uh, sorry, PhD, and mm -hmm. yung mga vocational courses na eligible for what they call yung post-study work visa. I don't know if you've heard about it. But it's actually um, parang privilege, bonus yan ng Australian um, government to international students who completes a higher education degree or a vocational course na eligible. Kung baga nasa skills list nila, katulad ng chef. Yan, yung commercial cookery courses. Mm -hmm. Or yung mga early childhood education educators kapag nag-aral ka ng early childhood education. Yung mga ganyan. So, yung IT, meron din. Yung mga net network security specialist, parang ganyan. So, sila, kapag natapos yung course nila, as long as it's a two-year course, um, vocational, and then same thing with the higher education, you can be eligible to apply for a post-study work visa, which allows you to stay here in Australia and live here, work full-time for 18 months para sa mga vocational courses, and then minimum of two years for the postgraduate courses, and mm -hmm. undergraduate yung mga bachelor degrees then. Mm -hmm. So, yun. So, kung... For example, um, ikaw mo, kunwari, you want to work to up uh, to study here, master's degree. So, mm -hmm. for example, ngayon nag-enroll ka na, you will start November, for example, and then um, um, hindi ka pa makapunta na Australia kasi right. sarado pa nga yung borders. Mm -hmm. So, kung nag-start ka na, meron ka ng visa grant, whatever you start um, study ngayong November and say for example next year November ka pa nakarating dito so naka one year ka na sa course mo ba? so whatever you study during that time kung full load ka di natapos mo na yung one year ba? Mm -hmm. now pagdating mo dito one year na lang yung tatapusin mo so mm -hmm. in terms of benefit makikita mo na you have saved one, one year worth of your living expenses plus you yeah. have still spent time with your um, loved ones, diba? Habang, right. uh -oh. yeah, so productive. So, so many, so many birds that you can hit in one stone, diba? Mm. Yeah. And then I think maganda sa kanya, yun nga, yung, yung sinasabi mong post-study visa. Thank you for clarifying that. Kasi hindi lahat ng, so you're saying hindi naman lahat ng course is may parang um, eligibility to apply for the yes, post-study hindi, visa. Hindi lahat, yes. Okay. But all higher education degrees, that any bachelor, any master's, any um, PhD, um, as long as it's a minimum of two years, two years, yes, you can qualify. But for vocational courses, yung mga diploma, advanced diploma courses, um, mm -hmm. kailangan package siya at least two years pa din. And mm -hmm. they have to, yung mga outcome ng mga courses na yan has to be in the skills list. That's why it's eligible courses. So, hindi lahat. Right. Okay, I think maganda pa rin siyang option. And can we also share with them a little bit, LA, tungkol sa new announcement? 
yes. about sa so, pilot program. Yes, yeah. and yeah. um, clarify ko lang din mo na this announcement is actually for um New South Wales. New South Wales. So yes, so it's an initiative by the New South Wales government and yung mga education providers dito, dito sa New South Wales and they have approved itong petition nila for a pilot program to for international students to already come here in Australia. So mm-hmm. they have recently announced that by December um, there will be 250 students, international students will be allowed to come in Australia, in New South Wales, every mm-hmm. fortnight, so every two weeks, because they will stay in a quarantine facility. Right. Um, and then, um, yung charter flight, parang all students lang parang ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, um, in terms of, um, what do you call this, um, providers, since pilot program siya, pili lang. So, may mga mm-hmm. nag-sign up lang na mga providers um, some of the universities and private colleges. Tapos sila na yung mag, um, mag-a-advise sa kanilang mga students on if they can, you know, if they, they want to express their intent to join that program and then they will advise kung mapipick ka ba or mapipili ka to join the program too. Wow, exciting din yan. And I think it's good yes. progress. That's December 2021. Yes, yes. Right? This end okay. of the year. Hopefully, sana wala nang any 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 surprises well, in the coming weeks oh <laughs> but so far it's on track because you know that our school partners have also been updating us that they're already started um right. you know informing our students if they want to express their interest to join mm-hmm. the program so it's really good news for everyone yes okay and gusto ko lang idagdag so guys um because we're talking about the visa it's also in, i think this is a good um opportunity or a good um key point why you should consider applying for a program and applying for a visa as well. Para maging parte din kayo nung priority list, hopefully, sunod-sunod yan until 2022. Until yes, maging normal true. na tayong lahat. And That's true. I think, speaking of uh, quarantines, ganyan, um, important din na vaccinated tayo when we are applying for <laughs> this program. And yes. we're happy to say that Sinovac, it's also um, approved. Uh, approved approved vaccine ng vaccine CGA o yung parang FDA parang FDA ng Australia. So um, Sinovac and ano pa ba yun? Johnson and Johnson, Astra, Astra and then, then Pfizer. Mm-hmm. Yan. So it's good. Ngayon lang actually recently lang na add si Sinovac. Na-approved. So good news. Tama. Yes nakapasok. Anyway, yeah. guys, I know na marami pa kayo sigurong gustong malaman tungkol dito sa announcement na to. We did make a post on our Facebook page and um, you can also visit the website of Study New South Wales to learn more about this pilot program. In the meantime, I think we've covered our part three today and LA. Thank you very much for what you've shared to everyone sure. and I hope you found this session short and productive. We hope to see you again in our next uh, talk. And um, for in the meantime, happy Friday or happy weekend. Stay safe, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye.